Well, good morning, guys. Um, I'm back out on a uh, bass hunt this morning, um, fishing the first light. Uh, it's still a little bit dark at the moment, but I've managed to get myself out on, uh, on the reef and uh, I've got a few nice heads in front of me here. So um, I'm gonna be flicking a mixture of laws out this morning, uh, ranging from surface laws all the way through to metals. Um, it looks really good this morning. Yeah, the water clarity is good, everything's good. Um, I haven't fished here in a while actually, to be honest, so I'm quite looking forward to this. So I've got my usual setup with me today, the uh, 15 to 56 gram HTO Nebula. Um, it's a 10 foot spinning rod, um, and I fitted that with a uh, Penn Spin Fisher 3500, and it's loaded with HTO Nebula braid, um, and I've just got a uh, little rubbing leader on there of about 22 pounds. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, outfit that I'm gonna be using today uh, for this morning session. Hopefully it comes up trumps and uh, we manage to bag ourselves some silver. It's nice and uh, mixed ground in front of me with a nice little bit of running tide. So uh, I'm excited to see how this goes because like I say, I haven't fished here for absolutely ages. So uh, here we go. Uh, let's get into it and uh, let's see if we can pick something up. So I've got the uh, usual grab box that I take with me. Uh, the default box, I call it. So I'm going to chuck on the uh, Pachinko 125 to start off with. And then uh, depending on how that one goes, um, either chuck on the bigger uh, Pachinko 140 or the uh, larger Astori. So as you can see in front of me then, there's a couple of heads um, with a little bit of tide running. So I'm going to uh, fling the uh, Pachinko 125 out there and uh, see if it, uh, it, it stirs up some trouble and uh, anything wants to uh, jump onto it. got everything that you'd want for uh, law fishing for bass. There's a little bit of uh, tide there. Nice bit of tide actually. Quite a few features. I can just make out the law now coming out in front of me. Yeah, there is quite a bit of tide. So uh, I had a couple of chucks with the uh, 125 and uh, yeah, the tide's running quite a lot and um, I'm finding that the, the action's a little bit too subtle for the uh, for the moving water that I'm fishing. So I'm putting on the uh, Pachinko 140 now. Um, this is the new colour. Uh, I think it's called Live Sand Deal from Mr. Fish. Um, Mick kindly sought me this one out, so it'd be nice to get a fish on camera for him um, <laughs> to show off this uh, new pattern. Um, so I'm going to be trying this one now in that running tide and just see how we get on.
So I've uh, had a couple of chucks with the uh, patch 140 now and absolutely nothing, not even a uh, rise on the law. So uh, what I thought I'd do is I've chucked on a uh, shallow diver and I've got the uh, Tide Minnow Slim 140. Um, this is the uh, ocean bait one. Uh, it's a floating law um, and it dives down to about I think, 80 centimetres. So uh, I'm going to try this. I think it's about 80 centimetres it goes down to. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> it isn't too, uh, too shallow here, so should be right anyway and uh, I've taken the uh, middle treble out like I do on most of my um, shallow divers uh, and most of my uh, hard laws so I've only got the one at the front and the one at the back uh, just to save implications when I uh, if I get lucky and uh, hook a fish so yeah let's try this and see how we get on oh, I don't know what's going on this morning it's like a ghost town around here So guys, I've been working my way down in depth and uh, changing the law every so often. Um, literally giving it like five, six casts if there's nothing, just changing it because there should be fish here in this tide. Um, so what I've got now, I've got a deep diver. Um, it's the Hacker. I got this from uh, Mr. Fish for the kayak, but I actually got a couple of them. So I thought I'll chuck one in my uh, in my lure box for times like this where I'm fishing deeper water and perhaps the fish are holding a little bit deeper in that running tide. Um, so just to entice them maybe, chuck this down and just see how we get on. This thing actually casts all right as well. It's got a bit of fish there, surely. Gonna wanna take this. nice in the water very nice it's casting like this in that reef as I'm bringing it back up this uh, part of the shelf oh little ras chasing it <laughs> no you don't want that mate it's about the size of the law I don't want to hook him either so there is fish here some ras one thing I like doing is just checking the uh, the bib I haven't damaged it whilst I'm uh, bringing it over them reefs. But this is a really nice um, deep diving lure. Um, it's quite small in profile. And uh, when I'm bringing it in, it looks like it's about three foot under the water. So um, obviously until it hits the rod tip, it stays, um, stays nice mid water. Um, if you're fishing somewhere like I am now, uh, then uh, yeah, maybe try it out. That's the uh, hacker from uh, Mr. Fish. I think it's a duo hacker. I can't be sure can't remember what brand it's from but i know it's a hacker hacker 105 um so yeah check them out oh what is going on still no fish not even a bite just yet all i've had is a, a follow from a, a small ras on the uh, deep diver so 
what I'm going to do, I've switched over now. I'm going to chuck out a uh, Dexter Wedge. It's a 28 gram one. Um, so it should get out there quite nicely uh, on their reefs and that. Hopefully pick something up. I'm sick of saying it. <laughs> oh, It's just been really quiet this morning. Um, you can only catch what's out there, I guess, what's in front of you. Uh, this morning, it seems that the case of that is uh, there's absolutely nothing uh, out there. So <laughs> that kind of answers that. But there's a few cormorants in that that have turned up. So maybe there's some bait moving through. Um, and uh, that's why I'm chucking on the uh, Dexter Wedge because it gives that um, that look of uh, it's a little bait fish uh, coming down the tide. So I'm just going to jiggle this around up and down that tide and just see if I uh, pick a fish up. Not getting my hopes up at all. <laughs> Lob that one right out into that uh, bit of running tide there. Let it sink for a bit as well. So pretty much anything will take this. Rass, bass, bream, garfish. I've had black bream down here on metal, so uh, I don't see why not. But doing a, a sort of pitching style, uh, this is a slightly different technique. I'm just doing a straight retrieve with this wedge comes in really nice on the straight retrieve as well it really wobbles so oh there we go there we go wow and i've got to watch out because he's trying to get around the corner i think that's a bass i think that's a bass or a pollock hit that i think it's a bass doesn't feel like a bad one yeah it's a bass it's not huge <laughs> but it's a fish yeah <laughs> absolutely nailed it see just chopping and changing through the laws can uh, like sort of hit you into the fish uh, he's not a huge one but I'm gonna try and just get him in I've got to be careful with my braid on these uh, on these barnacles there we go Let's get him in here quick he's not big at all but he didn't have slam that that law in that tide well guys, there we go. Nice little bass on the uh, Dexter wedge. Pretty much the uh, first cast, I think, as well. And he took it right in the tide, um, pretty much as the law was going around the corner. I was getting a little bit worried then. Um, but no, a nice little one to uh, start off on the wedge. So, but yeah, a nice little start, probably about 40 minutes in, and uh, we've got our first little bass. Don't want to get my feet too wet, mate. Are you going to be all right going back normally? I think you are. There he goes. Perfect. Yes, let's get the uh, wedge back out there. Right, you can see it flies. There we go. Well guys, that's all from me this morning. Uh, I'm going to call it a session there and uh, pack up and head home. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Tight lines and I'll catch you in the next video.